this parking lot's a bit, lot smoother than the last one that I was driving it at. Um, it's a lot more exciting too because it's a lot more open. So I can kind of get it wrapped out a little bit more. Driving around some of the different parking islands. So overall the all-wheel drive system works really well, especially when the tires warm up. Um, it does have a, quite a bit of understeer. I'm sure that the two-wheel drive would be a lot different story, but on a non-prep surface like this, you're going to have a much better time with the all-wheel drive. The gearing out of the box is pretty tall, so it doesn't have a lot of acceleration, but the mid to top end is really good. So the brakes work really good too. As you can see, I'm pretty well rocking it up at full speed. The tires will be getting up to temperature here, so it'll handle quite a bit differently. I'm sure with the two-speed upgrade, you could get a lot more grunt out of the out, out of the uh, out of the hole when you're trying to accelerate. But as you can see, the uh, the car has settled down quite a bit now that the tires are warmed up and it's less tail happy. You can see it just really grips. I think total I have about two tanks through the car so far. We've had a really wet, wet, uh, wet fall which has been a little unusual for Utah so I haven't been able to drive it as much as I'd like but it's a very fun car quick I'd say it does about probably close to 40 on the top speed yeah, that motor just singing at the top end there If you made it this far into the video, you've got to be really bored at work or something. So I'm going to finish the video here and turn it off. Thanks for joining.